Welcome to a tutorial for the Healthy People 2030% Improvement and Minimal Statistical Significance tool. Setting 10-year objective targets has been an essential part of Healthy People for five decades since its launch in 1979. The targets are set by topic area work groups made up of subject matter experts. Healthy People targets reflect subject matter, policy, and political considerations, and so are not strictly statistical constructs. To find this tool, go to the NCHS Healthy People homepage at cdc.gov slash nchs slash healthy underscore people. On the left side of the page, click the plus sign next to Healthy People 2030 to expand the list for that section. Then click Target Setting. On the Target Setting page, you will find the Percent Improvement and Minimal Statistical Significance tool. This video provides instructions for using that tool. Now, let's explore how to use the Percent Improvement and Minimal Statistical Significance tool. You can access the tool by clicking on the Percent Improvement and Minimal Statistical Significance tool link. This will open the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet-based tool. Please note, this tool only works with Microsoft Office Excel. The tool's first sheet provides details on the background of the tool and instructions for how to use it. The Percent Improvement and Minimal Statistical Significance tool provides up to two candidate targets using the baseline or initial value to calculate a percentage or percentage point improvement. If the standard error is available, an additional candidate target based on minimal statistical significance is also provided. If you have questions about what information goes into the tool, refer to this first sheet. Now, let's move on to the tool, which is located on the second sheet of the spreadsheet. This sheet outlines a two-step process for inputting data to yield up to three different target options. The first step is to enter your data. Start with the ID field, which is optional, but allows you to enter a defined identification number or description. For healthy people, we use the objective number, which served as the unique identifier. Next. Enter your baseline or initial value. Then, add the standard error if available. This will enable the tool to calculate a minimal statistical significance target. Afterwards, specify if the measurement unit is a percentage by selecting yes or no. This determines whether the tool calculates a percent improvement using 10% and 20% or a percentage point improvement using Cohen's H effect size at 0.1 and point two. Finally, choose the desired direction. In other words, whether the preferred outcome is to increase or to decrease the measure. Two examples of data inputs are provided in the tool. The first example has a baseline value of 98 with a standard error of 0.479. The measurement unit is a percent and we want to see an increase from the baseline. This example illustrates a limitation of the tool and Excel. Although 98.0 was entered in the tool as the baseline value, Excel is designed to drop trailing zeros. So, the baseline value is shown as 98. In addition, the tool itself defaults to display candidate target values with one decimal place, independent of the number entered in column B. That's because most healthy people objectives round to one decimal place. This default setting explains why the baseline value is shown as 98 and the candidate target values are shown with one decimal place. You can reformat the cells to display the number of decimal places used with your data. In the second example, the baseline value is 179.3 with a standard error of 0.24. The measurement unit is not a percent and we want to see a decrease from the baseline. Once you have completed step one, step two is to review the output in columns F through K and any notes in column L. Let's review these columns for both examples. Because standard errors were entered, you can see that the minimal statistical significance targets were calculated for both examples. In example one, because the measurement unit is a percent, the target is calculated up to a 5 percentage point improvement based on Cohen's age effect size of 0.1. In 
In example two, where the measurement unit is not a percent, a 10% improvement is calculated. The next column shows either a 20% or up to 10 percentage point improvement based on whether the measurement unit is a percentage or not. Finally, you can check for any notes in column L. For example one, the note explains that the 5 percentage point improvement isn't statistically different from the baseline at the 0.05 level of significance. Going back, you can see that this is where the minimal statistical significance target is 99.3 and the up to 5 percentage point improvement is 99.2, which is less than the minimal statistical significance target. After you review the candidate target values and any notes, you can either select a target or consider another target setting method. You can learn more about the tools and methods used for Healthy People 2030 in our publication, Target Setting Methods in Healthy People 2030, which can be found on the NCHS website at cdc.gov slash NCHS slash products slash HP underscore pubs dot HTM. Although the national targets for Healthy People 2030 have already been set for the decade, these tools and methods can be useful to others interested in developing targets or goals for health indicators for states, localities, specific populations, or other groups that are methodologically consistent with those developed for Healthy People 2030. Thank you for watching this tutorial from the National Center for Health Statistics.